WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix coming from the uh, NASDAQ 100 off 26, semis down 20. The other U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 140, S&P 8, Russell's up 10. Gold's off 29 bucks, silver's down 19 cents. That's one and a half and eight tenths of a percent, respectively. Lights be crude up two and a half percent or a buck 69. Trading out at 69.33. Natural gas up 11 cents on a 30 year treasury. Printing out at 131.04. That's down one point and seven ticks. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand corner. We've got the ES mini. What do we know about it? We have an A to B equals CD to the upside that has been confirmed, a Gartley sell pattern that took place on the trading session of March the 22nd. Right now we have price that's just dealing with the resistance. That is the top of its profile, 4,007. We have seen one close above the top of that profile, so we would need two consecutive closes to suggest that price wants to move higher. More importantly, price must take out the high of 40, 40 73.75, that's the high from March 22nd in the gate, the sell the D-point pattern. Spot volatility is just sitting right on this 50-day exponential moving average. We've pretty much been in that same spot, give or take, for the last four trading sessions out there. When you're trading, and because it's oscillating so close to it, it's not giving us the clearest of signals. If any signal, though, it is more bearish than it is bullish. In the case of the NQ, the NQ's formed a Rhodes momentum indicator top. That pattern only gets negated until price closes above 13.082. If we did that, that would then go ahead and kick that A to B equals CD to the upside back in at the give us a price projection of 14,003. We don't have that right now. Conditions here are neutral. All of the uh, TAS market uh, breadth dials for the four time frames that we monitor for the NQ are all bullish. So it's at 13,082 level that is your key resistance level. Inside the U.S. dollar index, as a confirmed by the D point pattern. A price here is consolidating with inside its daily profile. A close above the center of that profile, and that would be at 102.82, would signal a move up to the 104.40 level. Goldilocks, uh, no pattern to speak of other than price pulling back and testing its oscillator and change line. You don't see here that, that here, but you will when we go take a look at the uh, charts of gold during the Trader's Ed show. Silver's got a confirmed TD9 count top. The only way that, that gets negated is a close above Friday's high, and that's at 23.36. Lights recruit a nice rally right up into resistance. That's the top of that daily profile. That's at 70.96 level. You close above that, you're headed higher with 72.74 being the next battleground. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you have to start your Monday, please have a magical and a marvelous one. We'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care now.